Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Felicia Honzi, the Modesta Red Violinist, and this is yet another video. Yep, I have magic powers. I mean, just like that, that has changed. But it's, please excuse these heads. Like my hair is is not make sure. So on this video today, I'll be doing a DIY project. I will be doing a shoe rack. It is very easy. I bought the floating shelves at Mr. Price Home. I think they were like three hundred rands each. So it is just five floating shelves. I'll be just putting them like stacking them and that will be my shoe rig. nothing hectic so for those that are like me that are hands on like using their hands this should be very interesting i think you might actually like the video and maybe use it yeah maybe do it yourself as well i mean why not I have this big space behind my bedroom door so I'll be utilizing it because it's been empty for quite a while and the way I'm currently storing my shoes is not make sure so let's go ahead and do the project Bless the day I got myself this bad boy over here. So, of course, I needed the drill. I needed the floating shells. I also needed a drill bead. But these are the drill beads that I have. I also needed a big screwdriver and a long ruler and a pencil. Tell me. Kemang are supposing when they look at themselves on the mirror. Hmm? Hmm? Because I want to store my laundry basket at the bottom of the floating shelves, um, I started by measuring how long it is so that I know um, where the bottom floating shelf is supposed to be placed. Because, I mean, there is not really enough room there. The space in between these floating shelves um, is dependent on you and your shoes. It, it, it can be any amount depending on what satisfies you. I just placed the floating shelf where I wanted it to be but I exposed the shelf bracket so that I, I know where exactly I'm supposed to place it.
took the bracket and then placed it on the wall exp exposing the screw holes and then I just marked where the holes are with my pencil because this is where I have to drill just to keep you People that are used to drills, I'm sure they know her which drill bit to use but i had to compare the screw what what to the drill bit to make sure that it is like more or less the same size guys what do you call these things really <laughs> So I made my first hole and then I put a screw fix to make sure that it is the same size and that the screw fix can fit in the hole. But because it was not going in, I just took my hammer and then hey, after this. I I was more confident to make more holes, but I decided that I won't use 10 holes. I would rather use 5 holes for each uh, shelf. this point i was i was actually happy and satisfied that i put that thing down there because that dust who was supposed to clean it i had made all the holes so i put the screw fixes like in each hole
it was time to put the brackets and then the screws. The way this thing was exhausting, like guys who cruel hala pizza and coming to think that there's people that do this for a living. Yo, I salute you people. La you guys are strong. My arm was burning. I had four more things to do. Here like if you don't go to the gym this is this is gym enough <laughs> like yo i i can show from this i got my arm strength like nediboa So before getting too excited, I had to test if the the rack would fit, the shelf would fit properly. put the second shelf at the top and then i decided that i was gonna start putting the shelf screws on the top one because otherwise there wouldn't be enough space to put these screws beneath <laughs> So I I repeated the same procedure for each and every shelf. There is nothing hectic or nothing different that I did. I think it took me around two hours or less to do this. I just forgot to time myself or check the time before and after. Ladies and gentlemen, Ashil and Tuila, yo, the happiness that I felt here. I was just so proud of myself. I knew I could do it, but I didn't think it could be that clean. So talking about cleaning, I had to clean and I took these things. I was like, hey, I didn't read the manuals. Yes. Love, be my love. 
Whenever you need, whenever you need my love, need my love. Whenever you need, whenever you need my love, need my love. This dance says it all. I was excited and happy with the final product. I will definitely add more shells. Um, probably around three to four bit out the side. Because I think I actually want to put bags on the shelf as well. You fetched your ideas from nowhere out from another world. This is how I used to store my shoes, but no more. No more. At least now I have these storage containers to store my fabric because I have a lot of fabric and it is actually very hard to store it. And ladies and gentlemen, the final pro. And I am done with the DIY shoe rack project so this thing i feel like because i'll be seeing this every day it's gonna be um some sort of a motivation for me to like buy nicer shoes because now i don't follow trends that they are paro and shoes but maybe looking at this shelf every day seeing it every day it's like motivated to like buy more and you know because i don't know what i wear <laughs> like honestly i just get back but as long as Mutu have been. <laughs> so thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys on the next video. Please subscribe, like the video, comment. Kori! Bye, friends. Bye, Felicia.